What's going on guys? My name is Alice. I also go by German. And today I am going to be discussing what team I would like to get in BDSP. Um, first of all, I did not actually want to get this game. I had no interest in it. Then I thought about it. I kept on thinking about it. And today I just could not get it out of my head. So I decided to go ahead and get it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into the video. Okay, first off. I'm going to be getting Torterra. This was my very first starter when I actually played Pokemon uh, Pearl all those years ago. I got it when it came out. Um, it was a fantastic game, so I'm definitely going to be starting off with this again. Um, I know Izu, who is uh, my brother, who is also going to be pretty much my rival, um, is picking uh, Empoleon for that very same reason. So hopefully we actually do a uh, battle at the end of our uh, Nuzlocke's with the same kind of thing because that's what me that's what me and him did um way back in the day okay so this is gonna be so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna show the pokemon tell them about it then bring it back over here so i can go ahead and just you know do a pretty much a preview um his base stats which aren't as good as i thought they would be however his physical defense is really good he has pretty good uh, attack um, the only thing that sucks is he is quite weak to ice, he's weak to fire, he's weak to fly flying, and weak to bug. So, kind of a lot of early game stuff, um, but by that time we should have we should have a pretty good team. Um, I would actually like to have shell armor, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get the uh, hidden abilities. Not that that really matters, because, I mean, he's a pretty, he's a powerhouse without it, so. Yeah, this is, this is going to be the, um, this is going to be our first member of the team. Alright, next we have Star Raptor. Um, I always like this bird. He looks really cool. I like the I like the design. And he um, he's very strong. He has a lot of attack, which I'll go over on the next uh, next slide. Um, now as far as like stories go, I mean obviously first bird. I kept him throughout the uh, throughout the uh, throughout the playthrough and I actually I just grew very attached to him. Okay, here is base stats. Um, as you can see, he has very good attack, very good speed. His uh, abilities are Intimidate and Reckless. I'll be definitely going to Intimidate more, uh, just because it's very good for the party, especially if I'm doing a Nuzlocke. I run into something very, um, very bad. Uh, then I'll be, you know, Intimidate spamming, switching in, getting Intimidate, switching out. And um, he's just a very good utility mon. Okay, next up is Magmortar. I am going to be using him um, for as my primary fire type, um, or at least I hope so. Anyways, now I never actually used him in Diamond and Pearl. Um, we just never, I just never could. But I've liked the idea. I like the idea of him. He's actually really good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into his base stats. Okay, so these are his base stats. Um, really good attack. Really good. I mean, passable attack. Really good special attack. Pretty good special defense. It's all right in speed. Um, his main thing is Flame Body as the ability, which is really good for well, first of all, hatching eggs, and secondly, well, I mean the more important part, it can burn Pokemon that makes contact with it, which is really good. You can either um, whittle something down, you know, decrease its attack, which is really good. Vital Spirit. Um, I mean, it would be good if I could use it to like grind and everything, but honestly, I don't really feel like it's needed as. You know, because a lot of things don't really actually put you to sleep. Um, yeah, we're gonna go on the next. We're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and get to the next Pokemon. All right, the next one's Azumarill. This one actually surprises me. Uh, I was looking over the um, over the list of what's actually gonna be in the Pokedex. You know, that's confirmed. And I actually, I don't usually use Azumarill. I never go for it. Uh, it's just a Pokemon I don't care about. But it's kind of grown on me, especially if I can get Aqua Jet and Play Rough and everything like that. Especially since it is going to be a fairy type in this game, it's going to be really good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into his base stats and abilities. We're going to go ahead and talk about those. Okay, so here's his base stats. Obviously, he's not that fast. He's not that strong. Uh, he's he's, he's kind of tanky, but not really. The only thing I really want him for is either huge power or sap zipper. Um, thick fat's fine, but he's resisting both of those anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, huge power obviously just doubles the Pokemon attack stat, and sap zipper is probably the best one. Um, giving it the immunity to, uh, to grass type attacks, which is really good and in increasing its attack. So it could potentially get up to plus two, um, which is effectively huge power. So that's pretty much the only reason why I want those. Um, we want Sapsipper instead of huge power. 
All right, let's go ahead and get to the next mod. All right, next mod is going to be Rampardos. Um, now, I know this uh, Pokemon has gotten a lot of hate over the over the years um, just because it's not very bulky. It's not very fast. However, it's, a, it's, it's very, very strong. It can get very hard. Um, and it is a rock type, so, you know, it, it resists, um, well, I think it only resists, like, normal. It might resist, it, it, might, it might resist bug, I think, and it resists poison. I could be wrong, I didn't actually look that up. Um, but it's still, I mean, as strong as it is, it'll only be coming in versus something that's, you know, super effective against it, not something that's going to kill it in one shot. So, I mean, this is definitely going to be very good. Let's go ahead and get on to the space stats. Okay, so this is base stats. Like I said, it hits like a truck. It's 165 uh, base attack, which is actually stronger than a slacking, which is just hilarious. Its HP is really good. Actually, it's almost like a slacking. It's just not that fast. Um, its abilities are Shear Force and Mold Breaker. Shear Force being the hidden ability. And with a playthrough like this, I feel like maybe Shear Force is probably the better one. Um, in a competitive, Mold Breaker is probably better. Um, just because it can hit stuff with, um, levitate with, with earthquake and stuff like that. But, um, for a regular playthrough, uh, Shear Force is going to be way better. So it can just be one shotting everything. All right, we're going to go ahead and get to the next Pokemon. Okay. Next one is Lucario. Uh, as soon as this came out, I've actually, I've actually always liked it. Um, I like that he has Aura Sphere, which is very good. I think it's like 80, uh, 80 power, what can never miss. I've always liked or uh, or sphere it's actually very good because he can also learn um, he can learn so many different types of attacks like he can learn uh, ground type attacks dragon type attack can be in dragon ray or not dragon race but dragon pulse uh, obviously fighting and uh, steel and he can probably learn I mean I know he can learn I he can learn all the elemental punches I do believe which actually makes him very good as well he's just a very good all-around mixed attacker and he's actually really, I feel like he's going to be really good in a uh, Nuzlocke sense. Okay, so this is his base stats. Um, pretty good attack and special attack. He has a little bit higher special attack and really good speed. Um, like I said, he's a mixed attacker. So he can go, he can run Fire Punch, Ice Punch, or Spear, and uh, maybe Shadow Ball, Dragon Pulse, and still be really good. His abilities aren't that aren't all that great. It's Steadfast, Inner Focus, and Justified. I think out of the three, inner focus maybe like might be good just because it can't be, uh, it can't be flinch. Other than that, justified probably is the better one um, out of steadfast and just uh, and justified. Just because if it gets hit by a dark dark attack, it's um, it's going to increase in attack. So yeah, I think I'd go inner focus on this. Okay, so just to recap, this is going to be my team. It's Orterra, Staraptor. Uh, Magmortar, Azumarill, um, Rampardos, and Lucario. This is the team that I want. Um, I believe this is probably the best equipped team to beat the game. Um, and this is just one that I really, really hope I get. In contrast, this is probably going to be the team that I end up with. Um, Krikatoon, I haven't used one yet, so I feel like it's bound, bound to happen. Um, Golem isn't that bad, but that's probably going to be the best Pokemon on my team. Um, Dustox has been following me around every single series. I know that's going to be popping up. Potsuritsu I've never liked, so it's probably going to be, it's probably going to be attracted to me. Um, Cherum, don't care. I, I really don't care about it, so I'm probably going to get it. And then Whiskash is just the worst Quagsire, so you know, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. Um, so yeah, this is probably, this is probably going to be the team that I get, which I'm be really depressed if it is. Okay, guys. So this is my this has been my team that I hope to get and what I'm most likely gonna get. Um, if you guys have any um, issues with the team I have, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. If you like it, let me know in the comments below. And hope to see you on the next one. Peace.